Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a little uh, laid back look here today. No makeup and I'm wearing my high school soccer jersey. <laughs> um, that's And some uh, Harry Potter pajama pants. That's what's going down today. So um, I just have empties from the last two weeks. Uh, I did not do empties last week because it was my daughter's birthday week. I was tired from working. I just wasn't feeling it. I was going to be honest. I wasn't feeling doing, um, you know, wax videos for some reason last week. Um, I did make quite a few posts on Instagram. Um, I just wasn't as into it last week. Some weeks are like that. So I have a lot of empties for you this week. Um, so this will be a long video, so we'll get into it. Let me do, I have a candle here first. Um, White Barn, Bath and Body Works, Crystal Waters. This is, I don't know, in my top three candles of all time from Bath and Body Works. Crushed Candy Cane, Black Tie, and Crystal Waters are my tops. I have a lot of others, favorites too, but. So Crystal Waters, it states that the notes on here are sparkling salt water, jasmine blossom, blue seagrass, and essential oils. Um, ugh. This to me smells like kind of a calm, soothing floral sunscreen, almost. Like that's 25% of the scent with a beautiful beachy aquatic scent. It's very beachy. When, when it gets right down to it, it's, it's a floral but it's not an overbearing floral. Um, it's an aquatic beachy floral is what this smells like to me. I am so in love with it. So I found out, <clears throat> or I found my love for this. This actually, this exact candle, I think it was last summer's SAS. I got this for like $7 and I bought it and I was like, gosh, that smells amazing. But then I started burning it and this has a huge throw on it. It's beautiful. I have two or three more of them now that I got from Candle Day and this winter's SAS. And then they're currently on the website, Crystal Waters. Um, I found that the ones from this year, they still have a great throw. They're still like a seven out of 10, whatever, but it, the throw is not quite as good as this one was. Um, but still top three, absolutely love Crystal Waters from Bath & Body Works. Um, I have a hand soap from Bath and Body Works. I loved this packaging so much. Christmas <clears throat> packaging from White Barn. Joy to the world. And it was in their Twisted Peppermint. And we all kind of know Twisted Peppermint notes, but just in case. Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, and Aromatic Balsam. Look at that packaging. It's the little um, red truck. It was ju just really, really pretty. Um, I should have gotten more Twisted Peppermint hand soaps because you this just smells so good. I think you can use it all year round. It's one that as you're washing your hands, the scent wafts up to your nose and it's just such a good like nose clearing peppermint. Um, if I see somewhere more Twisted Peppermint hand soaps for like a cheap price, I definitely will buy more because this is one of my favorite hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. Okay, I think everything else is wax. Okay, so the first one I have here is Sassy Grill Aroma Blackberry Madam. Uh, this is the one that I got from my friend Rachel um, at the Candles and Sweet Stuff on Instagram. She's one of my good friends on there. Um, it was from the Sassy Grill Aroma. I believe it was the Best Seller Sampler. And this is Blackberry, Feminine Florals, Citrus, Warm Amber, and Sweet Vanilla. And this was really nice. I melted it in my room. It's a very juicy, deep blackberry with kind of a perfumey scent with it. It had a great throw on it. I really liked it. Um... I will say, because I purchased two of those samples, samplers too from Sassy Grill Aroma. Um, I don't know really how to say this or address this, but somebody um, messaged me when I had posted my Sassy Grill Aroma samplers video, and it kind of made me think. So the owner of Sassy Grill Aroma, I know that like when um, the Black Lives Matter movement was all over social media, which it it still is and still should be, absolutely. It should be a thing that we talk about all the time because um, it will never be equal. Um, she decided not to stand up for equality. She just said that she didn't want to comment about it and that she shouldn't uh, be made to when a lot of other wax vendors were, um, a lot of wax vendors that I support. What I didn't know 
um, because I've been off Facebook and I've been off a, a few social media platforms, um, was stuff that she outwardly, outwardly that's not a word. Um, what's the word that she did speak about and support? Um, I don't want to put words into her mouth, but I will say that I don't support the things that she did come out and say that she supports. And so I will no longer be posting about a uh, sassy girl aroma. I don't want to, uh, put out there that I align or support what she might. So I know a lot of people have different, um, you know, ideas about that. And that's absolutely fine. Everyone has the right to their ideals and, you know, who they want to support and who they want to purchase from. I'm not saying I'm never going to purchase from her again. I wish I could say that. She just has, her perfumes are so good. And some of her blends are just very unique and stuff that no one else sells. So that's kind of a selfish thing for me because there's some things that I want that I can't get anywhere else that I probably will still purchase from her, but I will no longer be posting about it on my social media to show support or um, share. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry if you don't agree. That's my opinion, my video. So just throwing that out there. And thank you to the person that sent that message to me. If you watch my videos also, um, I just want to say thank you because you totally checked me and I needed that and I'm thankful for that. So thank you very much. We'll move on. Uh, my next one is Teddy B's Grey Worm and Masande. This was from her Blue Sugar Sampler and my very favorite from the Blue Sugar Sampler. The notes in this are Blue Sugar, Beaches of Noth, and a hint of Lord of Misrule. Amazing. Blue Sugar, Lord of Misrule. It was like a fresh, woodsy take on Blue Sugar. Oh my gosh, I would definitely buy like a loaf of this one. This one is a very sexy bedroom scent in my opinion, but a fresh sexy, um, earthy, great throw. Love that. And I love Teddy B's owners. So, all right, next one up is the pharmacist daughter, Cutie Pie. This was part of her Valentine's restock that just happened. Uh, Rainbow Sherbet, Fruity Pebbles, and Marshmallow Fluff. This was awesome. I melted this in my family room and... Um, kitchen multiple times. This was in one of her little tarts. So freaking good. Her fruity pebbles blends are just out of this world. Um, this definitely smelled like a sweetened rainbow sherbet fruity pebbles. Cause it has that marshmallow in there. Those two oils together, the rainbow sherbet and fruity pebbles. Amazing. Um, something I would definitely, I would blend myself something I would definitely purchase again. This was such a cute one. It just kind of reminded me of my kids. The name was Cutie Pie. The throw was 8 out of 10. Amazing. I like constantly am blown away by the pharmacist's daughter's wax. Um, next up is Rose Girl's Pond Scum. This was a couple of her chunks from the Let's Go Camping sampler. Best sampler ever made. Pond Scum is so hard to describe. It's so good. It's like a green herbal scent that cuts the air, that cleans the air, but is an earthy, herbal, clean scent. I've never smelled it anywhere else. I would melt so much of this if I had more. I sure hope she puts this sampler out again because best sampler ever. A uh, huge throw on that, like nine out of 10. Um, the next step, this was a little ducky from um, Hayden Rowe, Himalayan Pink Salt. This is also, um, just so you guys know, the Swedish Dream Salt Oil. She just has renamed it to Himalayan Pink Salt. Um, love this. I love Swedish Dream Salt. Um, her version, her wax, especially in clean scents, throws like a beast. This is a 10 out of 10. Oh, her wax just lends to cleanliness so much. I love it so, so very much. I have a bag, or I think, um, was it a, I think I have a loaf of this cut up as well, but this was an awesome sample to have. I'm so thankful she sent that to me. Next up is the Pharmacist Daughter Crush. Oh, man, I love this one. Uh, Beechwood Vetiver, Marshmallow, and Bum Bum Type. Um, this was in a little, like, rosette. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't super strong on the Bum Bum, but it was definitely in there. Because the Beechwood, Beechwood Vetiver by itself gives me a headache, even though I love how it smells. Um, the Bum Bum Type went in there and really just smoothed it out, prettied it up, 
And then the marshmallow added some sweetness. This blend is just perfection. I feel like this is something that they should carry all the time because it's just so good. It's feminine, but masculine, creamy, but fresh. It's like, it's perfection. I can't, no one else has a scent like this. It's called Crush. It's beautiful. It was strong. Um, it was like a seven out of 10. Not so not super strong. It was moderate, but it was beautiful. Um, I would definitely buy that one again. Okay. Another pharmacist daughter. Oh, I melted the last of this this morning in my kitchen. Uh, Rise and Shine. And this is Coffee House, Zucchini Bread, and Morning Beignet. So good. So on cold, I don't get a whole lot of zucchini bread, but on warm, zucchini bread comes out quite a bit. So um, it's Coffee House Forward, and then I'd say the Morning Beignet, and then zucchini bread. But when you melt it, I'd say it's like a third of each. Uh, you definitely get one of each. It's a very just warm bakery coffee blend, but it's not super sweet at all. Um, just a warm, actual baking bakery coffee scent. Very nice. I would absolutely buy that one. Um, next up is a clam that my friend Grace sent me from Instagram. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It's from Super Tarts. It's called Misery, but it's hard to see the notes. Let's see. Pie crust and leaves, I think is what that says. So I know that I've spoken before about Super Tarts. Um, for some reason in my house, Super Tarts doesn't throw. Every once in a while, I will get one that does. Um, one of the strongest ones I've ever had from them was called Street Rat. Grace sent me that one too. And that one threw like a freaking beast. And I love that one. Um, so I thought uh, leaves, something with leaves in it would throw like crazy because usually it does. Um, oddly enough, this I could not smell this at all when I put it in my warmers. I don't know what it is about super tarts. I'm really hoping when we move in April, um, you know how sometimes if you move, and you have different ceiling heights and different spaces in your house that different things will throw. I'm really hoping that when we move there, super tarts will work better in my house because I want it to work. Um, it just didn't. So this had basically no throw, unfortunately. It does smell like pie crust and leaves. To me, on cold in the clam, the pie crust, there's a lot more of pie crust and leaves. And maybe that's why it wasn't as strong. I love the smell of it because I love me like fall Halloween smells so, so much. Um, I'm so thankful Grace sent this to me, but just like, no throw. It's so weird. I don't get it. Um, okay, Grace also sent this to me. Um, Salty Siren from The Bathing Garden. Uh, the Bathing Garden is another one that I, I wouldn't say has no throw for me. It just has low throw for me, except a few scents. This one, Salty Siren, is like a very salty, fizzy, bubbly, um, like margarita scent. So the notes on it, it says the saltiest lime margarita fit for a siren. Perfect. My daughter this week, this past week, had a mermaid themed um, birthday party and I melted the last of this at her party and it was just perfection. Um, I hope that she puts out a large clam of this this summer or whenever she does her um, like mermaid summer themed wax because this is beautiful. Um, probably my favorite margarita scent I've ever smelled in vendor wax. I'm buying more of this. It was amazing. Like, and it had a great throw. Um, I need that one. <laughs> okay. Destination wax port Royal. This one is smoky red birch, sweet tobacco, grapefruit, lemon, cinnamon, and rum. This is very unique. <laughs> I like it, but if you are not a smoky, embery tobacco lover, you probably won't like this. This is a very smoky, tobacco scent, but boy, it's good. This is like, it's, it's not, to me, it's not masculine, but it is very old world masculine, if that makes sense. Not cologne -y. very much like you'd imagine like a man to smell like <clears throat> in the old world and he's wearing like a, a wool coat stepping off a wooden boat with a true tobacco pipe smoking it. No like artificial sweetness happening, like true earthy sweetness, tobacco, wool, and wood um, is what if, I hope that makes sense. It truly brings you back to a different time. Um, and this was like a 10 out of 10. This was so strong. 
I have had one of their soaps before in this scent and was blown away. Their soaps are amazing. I wish they weren't so expensive and so small. <laughs> um, cause the scent lasted on me like all day from using that soap. Um, if you want to try something in the wax world that is very different, brings you to another time. Oh, so good. Try Port Royal. This was such an experience and so amazing. I'm very thankful to have that. And I would absolutely order that again. Okay. Uh, K scented melts Christmas cactus. Oh man. It's so good. It's so fun. This is such a fun scent. Um, it could be melted all year round though. It truly does have a touch of like Christmas tree in it. So it's great for Christmas time, but the freshness in it, like the fresh air, almost like just a touch of aquatic and like that sunshine in it, it makes it friendly for all year round. I don't know why I waited so long to try that one. Um, I will be buying more of this and it had a great throw. Um, I can't remember exactly, but it did have a really good throw. Loved that one. I'm actually melting this one in my bathroom currently. That Smell Good Shop Lavender Vanilla. So good. Um, this is definitely an herbal lavender with a creamy, slightly sweetened vanilla. A very dense, creamy vanilla. This is like an 8 out of 10 to 9 out of 10. It's very strong. It's definitely a lavender vanilla. It's very much an herbal lavender and vanilla. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. Um, I will definitely be getting more of this. I really like this one. Very strong throw. Very nice. Um, I have here a little sample of poolside. I believe, oh, I'm so sorry. I am so lucky and so thankful that so many people have sent me beautiful, um, random act of kindnesses. I should have labeled for who they were from as I got them in. I didn't. I believe I got this from my friend on Instagram in, um, a random act of kindness. I'm so, um, I'm so sorry if I didn't, I think Candy sent this to me because she sent me a ton of poolside. Um, so I'm so thankful for, because I'm obsessed with poolside. So poolside from Rose girls is her blackberry fluffy towels and salty sea air. And it's amazing. I've told this story before, but, um, when I first got this, I, didn't love it because I thought it was going to be more of a, like fluffy towels is a strong scent oil. Uh, to me, salty Sierra is not strong. Um, so, but I thought when I got this, it was going to be like a laundry scent with a touch of blackberry. It's not to my nose. It is a blackberry scent with a touch of laundry. Um, and so when I first got it, my nose was kind of confused and I wasn't in love with it. I am now. She has such a juicy blackberry and for me, I don't like blackberry bakery scents as much as I like blackberry laundry scents. Um, I don't know what it is. Blackberry goes with laundry so well. I think it's because it's such a dense, juicy fruit that it, it the laundry just cuts it just right. I don't know. But poolside, man, I freaking love that. Um, so thank you so much. I believe Candy sent this one to me. Um, but anyway... Is like seven to eight out of 10. This is one of Rose Girl's blends that, in my opinion, lasts all day if you leave it in. Really, really good. Um, Let's see. Oh, this was the very last little bit of Lydia's Campfire Cider from Vintage Chic Scents from the fall. Um, This is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, apple cider, and campfire. So as far as the smell went, as the scent went, this was one of my very favorite fall scents that uh, Kirby put out, but the throw on this one was so weak. Also, it was the most beautiful melt she put out in fall, in my opinion. This was one of those leaves, like the maple leaf in this really orange wax, and the sequins in it were these black bats. Oh my gosh, it was so freaking cute. So the, the uh, wax pool was just freaking adorable. I've posted it a few times on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, the throw on this was like a four or five out of 10, maybe. Um, uh, it hurts me to say I probably won't repurchase this one because the scent is so good unless she makes this stronger. I don't know what else to say about it, but it's so cute and so good. Um, but very weak. Um, okay. K scented melts, Sorel and lemon thyme. I will repurchase this one forever. Um, my friend, um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking? Susan, duh, Susan Fitzgerald. What is wrong with me? I'm very tired. I've already had two cups of coffee. I just finished working three days in a row. 
But uh, so anyway, Susan Fitzgerald, um, she has an Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. She is awesome. I just love her. I, I adore her. Um, she talks about the scent all the time from K-Scented Melts. And she just is like kind of head over heels for it. And I agree. This is like a true like lemon, almost lemon rind. <sighs> with an herbalness to it. There's no sweetness here. This is like the brightest spring, end of spring, almost summer sunshine in a very clean kitchen that has been cleaned with like lemon essential oil. Mm. So I love this by itself. This is truly like a nine out of 10, but I think I'm going to make a custom with this in it. I, I know this sounds crazy because it's going to be crazy strong, but I think I'm going to make a custom with Sorel Lemon Thyme, Bonsai, and Fizzy Pop. If someone else has done that already, I'm sorry. But I, it is going to be a psychotically strong scent to clean the air in my house. And I love Fizzy, so... But I believe that's a that's a custom I'm going to be doing. Um, amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Uh, the next up is the Pharmacist's Daughter Lemon Drop. Are you guys sick of me talking about this one yet? Her lemon drop. Oh, I can smell it through the bag. Her lemon drop is lemon curd, lemon sugar, marshmallow fluff, and sugar waffle cone. You guys. So. I love so much from the pharmacist's daughter. But I think overall, as far as like general, like general consensus, general, like different likes from different people. This to me is their number one scent. Like the number one scent that can make multiple likes happy, multiple people happy. Like this is a scent that they should keep all the time because it everyone can like this. I'm not a lemon bakery lover. I love this scent. I truly, truly like it makes my mouth water. It's strong. It's pretty. It's cute. It's it's everything into one. To me, I've said this before, it's not lemon bakery. It's like a lemon confection. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. Um, it's all the things. It's lemon sugar. It's lemon curd. It's marshmallow fluff. It's sugar waffle cone. This was in one of her large donuts. I melted the whole thing. I'm so thankful. I have two more of these large donuts I just got in yesterday. I feel like I can never be without this scent. Um... When she, they're talking about doing customs, they, her, uh, Ainsley, it's Ansley, she said, actually, oh my gosh, I feel so bad that I called her Ainsley. I guess if it was Ainsley, it'd be A-I-N, but it's not. Her name's A-N, Ansley, so I'm sorry about that. The Holcombs, <laughs> I will say, did a live on Instagram, uh, was it the day before yesterday or yesterday, and they're going to be starting customs. When they do that, I will, and they're going to be doing loaves. When they do that, I will be putting in for probably two loaves of lemon drop. I hope they have their oils ready because this is amazing. Uh, amazing. I don't know how else to say it. Okay, next up. The Pharmacist's Daughter Adventure. This is another amazing, like they just do so many amazing ones. This is Hipster. If you've had the Hipster oil before, flannel sheets and blue sugar. This is like, if you want to clean scent in your bedroom, but I, I did put this in my bathroom quite a bit too. Um, this, so there is blue sugar in here. It's not much. It was mostly hipster and flannel sheets to me. I'll take any take on flannel sheets. Let me tell you, that is one of my favorite oils. This was amazing. Um, eight out of 10. I, this is another one I'd get so much of. It's so good. It's not quite as crowd pleasing as lemon drop. But if, if you're like a somewhat masculine laundry lover, very crowd-pleasing, very amazing. I have a couple little um, samples from the sampler from Big Island Arts Sense. Let me just make sure I, I did. Yep, Big Island Arts Sense. Um, I did a video on their sampler. Uh, they're an Etsy company off of the Big Island of Hawaii. I finished a few. Was it just these two? I had finished three. Uh, two, I guess of the samples. And one was Island Delight, which was kind of like a, a fruity cocktail scent. And one was Orange Blossom. Both really amazing, but I really want to talk about the Orange Blossom scent because this kind of blew me away. Um, there's a lot of Orange Blossom oils out there. Um, 
I, I don't enjoy all of them. I know what real orange blossoms smell like from where I've been raised and where I grew up. This brought me back. Um, this smells like a true orange blossom. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, if this doesn't remind me of childhood in California when those orange blossoms come out. Oh my gosh, I don't know. This was like an 8 to 9 out of 10. It just, if you like the smell of an actual orange blossom on a tree, go check out Big Island Arts um, Orange Blossom Scent. Um, yesterday he posted that I think their whole Etsy is like 15% off right now. This is like kind of a heart tugger scent for me. Um, and if you are, once again, someone that likes that true, true orange blossom scent that just smells like pure sunshine, get this one. Just, it's wow. It's wow, wow, wow. Um, okay, next up. Oh, I finished this loaf from L3 and I'm so sad it's gone. Boardwalk Mallow Clouds and Don't Cross Streams. So we all know Boardwalk Mallow Clouds Oil. Ow, just hurt my shoulder. Getting old. Um, and Don't Cross Streams is a like a vanilla bakery scent. So this was Boardwalk Mallow Clouds with a thicker vanilla bakery base. But I still, like I got both of them in there. The Boardwalk Mallow Clouds dominated this scent. This was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed melting this entire loaf. I never got sick of it. I want another loaf of this so bad. I know a few people have requested it, but I'm not sure if it's been poured again. If it gets poured again, someone please tell me because I needs it. Um, it's like near and dear to my heart. I love this one. Great throw, eight out of 10. Never got sick of it. It was amazing. Um, the Pharmacist Daughter Saltwater Princess is up next. And this says Himalayan Salt, Valencia Orange, Coconut Water, and Lavender. <sighs> Love this one. I don't get very much lavender in it. I do think that this is just a single oil and those are just the notes in the oil. I got the, I get a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the coconut, but it's mostly to me that Himalayan salt. It's just a very fresh, somewhat fruity, summery, fun, girly scent. Um, she also does a lot of blends with this one and it's really fun. This one wasn't as strong as some of the others. This was like a six out of 10 or so. I did enjoy it. Um, I don't know if it's one that I'm like, oh, I need more of, but it is very nice and very pleasant. Um, up next, this was a mini melter bag from Rose Girls, Le Lavender Peppermint Coconut Mallow. I don't know how many bags of this I've been through. This is a master blend of lavender and coconut and peppermint. This is like, it's making my mouth water. <laughs> peppermint scents do that to me because I just love peppermint so much. Um, this is, I will forever have a bag of this. This is one that if she ever did in a loaf, I could easily melt through two loaves of this. I could melt this every night and be happy. So just smooth and sweet and calm. It's her lavender. I I, I think it's her sweet lavender, um, which I don't like her sweet lavender very much, but in this blend, I really enjoy it. Her peppermint, that is epic. Um, where it says coconut here, I believe it's her Gilligan's brew, which is like that heavy whipping cream and coconut scent and then mallow. And I'm not sure if that is just a marshmallow scent or if it's her mallow smoothie scent. I don't care. This blend is amazing. I have like half a bag of it left from like my fifth or sixth bag that I've ordered of it in my vendor wax lifetime. And I feel like I'm hoarding it because I love it so much. Um, this is like an eight or nine out of 10 on throw and it's magical. So, okay. Down by the river. This was a chunk muffin from, um, Rose girls. I was first introduced to this scent in her let's go camping sampler. And then people loved it so much that she made it in chunk muffins and has re-released it uh, quite a few times. <sighs> Why was that sampler so good? So good. This is a fresh aquatic, a touch masculine, outdoorsy, clean scent. It's beautiful. Um, this was like a seven out of eight. It wasn't super duper strong like a lot of her other laundry scents, but I really enjoyed it. I melted it in different places all over my house. 
one I will absolutely get again. This isn't one that I would like super hoard, like, oh, I need a loaf of that. But if there's, if she puts them out in chunk muffins, I would definitely order one here and there. It was very nice. Very, um, it was a masculine fresh. I'm not gonna say it's not, but it wasn't uber masculine cologne or anything like that. Really enjoyed it. And then my, what is that sound? where it's happening outside um the very last thing i have here is a bath and body works wallflower in pacific coastline i have this one uh, in my bathroom right now this is ocean mist vetiver woods and pacific breezes um when i very first put this one in it was pretty dang strong and it was really nice and fresh and now i can't really smell it and my bathroom's super tiny so usually if a wallflower is going to do well it's going to do well in that bathroom I was really excited for it when it first started because it was really strong and it was a kind of a fun, almost citrusy, fresh air, beachy kind of scent. And then it died down. I'm probably going to switch it out because I, even when wallflowers aren't done, if I can't smell anymore, I throw them away because I want to smell my wallflower in there. So I'm probably going to be switching it out because I want to be able to smell that in there. So anyways, those were my uh, empties for the last two weeks. I promise to be better about getting my weekly wax empties done um, my and candles and soaps and everything. Uh, I feel like they're obviously the videos aren't as long when I do that. Um, and I can talk about each one a little bit better from memory and everything. Um, but I do feel like I am proud of the wax I got through in the last two weeks. Um, I'm looking forward to getting through a lot more. I've been giving a ton of wax away to my coworkers um, because I just have so much wax. Um, I've been on a wax band and we start, I started at January 1st. It's now what, February, say the 9th or the 10th. I don't know. Um, I feel like I've gotten through almost nothing. I have, um, you know, purchased a couple things. So there was a couple scents I said I would buy if they came out. I did purchase Rose Girls. They had a pre-order their Christmas Eve and Cookie Land for chunk bags of that. I haven't even received that yet, but I'm so beyond excited to receive that. And then I did say that if um, Hayden Rowe put out her Kennedy compound, I would try that. I did. I don't even know why I went to her website, but I did see she has a, uh, it was part of the crown release. I am so tempted. She has one on there that is the men's polo sport blended with shave and a haircut. Oh, I want that so badly. I might give in and get some of that because shave and a haircut blends. Are you kidding me? Um, and then let me tell you about one more failure of my no buy. Um, I saw on a few other YouTube, um, hauls, what is wrong with me? Um, that L3 put out these like beautiful chunks, be like big, beautiful blended chunks. I went on, I don't know why I did, um, and looked through the chunks that were left. This was like a week after she released them. And so I was hoping there'd just be nothing that I wanted. There was a lot that I wanted left in the chunks, but I only, I did purchase. I purchased two of them um, because it was something new. I wanted to try it. And there was one that was like black amber tobacco or something like that. And so I had to have that. And then the other one I got was a bonsai blend, which I had to also have. So purchase that. But look. I think my shipping though on that cost more than my wax purchase. So my no buy is turning into a low buy, but still, I'm still very proud of myself. Um, I'm doing really, really well, um, you know, saving money, not buying wax. Um, yeah, I've been very, very proud of myself. So anyways, just being honest out there, I still might give in and get that freaking hidden row wax. So because are you kidding me? Polo sport mixed with shaving a haircut. Like, it's like, I can't say no. I can't say no to that. So anyway, that's that. That's the news that's coming up um, for this next week. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, stay well, wear your mask, get your vaccine if you can. Um, we'll see you later. Thanks for coming on by.